welcome to today's celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the Feast of Christ the King. Please stand and welcome Father Matthew by singing hymn number 270, The King of Glory, number 270. The King of Glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Who is the King of Glory? How shall we call him? He is Emmanuel, the promise of ages. The King of Glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. In all of Galilee, in city or village, he goes among his people, curing their illness. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Sing then of David, son of our Savior and brother. In all of Galilee was never another. The King of glory comes, the nation rejoices. Open the gates before him, lift up your voices. Good morning. Today we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King, our last Sunday in our liturgical year. We thank those of you who are joining us here at our chapel at St. Paul Monastery and those who are joining us over our ecumenical channel here in Northeast Ohio. And as we come together, we come together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayers. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation, set free from slavery, may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, here we are, your bone and your flesh. In days past, 
when Saul was our king. It was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, you shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him as king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the response to old psalm is, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. The second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son in whom we have redemption for forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him, for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. The ruler sneered at Jesus and said, He saved others, let him save himself if he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, if you are king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, this is the king of the Jews. 
Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God, for you are subject to the same condemnation? And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First of all, on behalf of all the priests and brothers here at St. Paul Monastery, we wish all of you a very happy and blessed Thanksgiving. And just to remind you that if you would like to come and celebrate Mass with us, we like to do early Masses in our community, so our Mass will only be at 7 a.m. on Thanksgiving. So if you want to join us, we'll be glad to have you with us. We also, that this week, that you keep us in your prayers. As most of you have heard, we lost two members of our community. Uh, Brother Pascal Deusman, who had been fighting cancer all this year, finally succumbed to that cancer on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Uh, we had an anointing service with him, with our community and some friends, and there were some of us here with him when he passed away uh, in his bed very peacefully at 4.30 in the afternoon. What was more shocking to us is we have lost Father Jeff Mickler. Father Jeff Mickler had gone out on Tuesday night walking, and unfortunately it's dark out here, and we think he fell or lost his balance, but we found him on the steps that go down to our hall under here. So he was in that first portion of the step and had severe head trauma, and so uh, he was dead when we found him on that morning. So he had passed away. So we are going to have a double funeral on Tuesday at 11 o'clock in our chapel here on Monday afternoon and evening from 4 to 8 p.m. We will have calling hours again here, uh, and then we'll have the rosary set at 7.30 uh, in the uh, evening. On Tuesday after the funeral, Father Jeff will be buried in our cemetery, which is around the back road, and Brother Pasco will be going to uh, Oklahoma, where he will be buried with his family. So keep us in your thoughts and prayers over these next couple of days. Today we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. It's the last Sunday of our liturgical year. Next week we start the season of Advent. And when we come to the Feast of Christ the King, it's the last Sunday, and we see that Jesus is being crucified on the cross between two thieves. And so through his death, he's going to bring us redemption. He's going to bring us salvation. But to understand this feast, we have to go all the way back to the first week in ordinary time and look at what the Gospel of Luke tells us this year. Now, if you remember, the first Sunday in ordinary time is the baptism of the Lord. Jesus was baptized in the Jordan by John the Baptist, and after he is baptized, he goes out into the desert, and he is tempted by the devil. He gets encouragement from his father. He gets re-energized. He sort of gets his uh, commitment of what he's going to do with his life. So then he comes back from the desert and goes into the synagogue. And the rabbi and the people there said, would you mind doing the reading? And so he opens up the scroll and comes to Isaiah. And he reads the passage, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to save captives, to feed the hungry, to give food to those who are in need, to reach out and those who need help and assistance. He says, and today this has been fulfilled in your midst. So this sort of gives a commitment of what he's done throughout his life so that when we read the Gospel of Luke, we first of all read about the lost coin, the lost sheep, the lost son, and how they are welcomed back and why the Lord searches and the Lord wants to have people caught up in his life. He meets Zacchaeus and changes his life from a man who is a tax collector for Rome, changes his whole outlook on life. We also see that he re, uh, meets the Samaritan woman at the well, and her life is totally changed, and she goes back and changes the lives of other people. He tells us the story of the Good Samaritan who finds a person who has been robbed and beaten on the side of the road, that he cares for them, he reaches out to him. 
stories that he talks about the care and the love that people have for one another to show the compassion and love that Jesus Christ as our King has for us. And he loves us so much, gives us mercy so much, he forgives us so much that when he suffers and dies on the cross, he brings us a way to overcome sin, to overcome death. He brings us everlasting life. And he says, I want to be here with me. Now, the story I like to tell is that Brother Dismas, you all know Brother Dismas, he runs the cameras up here. He's actually sitting over here. I said, happy feast day to you today. And he says, what do you mean? It's not my feast day. And I said, yes, it is. Because the good thief who says, Lord, remember me when you go into your kingdom is St. Dismas. And Dismas will tell me that he's the only saint that has been guaranteed that he got to heaven. So we want to be guaranteed. So we want to ask the Lord that when you come into your kingdom, welcome me. So there's two things we need to do. This week as we come to Thanksgiving, let's be thankful for the many gifts that the Lord has given us. Be thankful for the many blessings and how he's given his love and his mercy and his forgiveness and welcomes us even when we say we don't want him in our life. And the second thing is how have we become Christ the King for others? The Spirit of the Lord is upon us. He has anointed us to bring glad tidings to the poor, to reach out to those who are sick, those who are suffering, those who are in pain, those who need somebody to walk with them, those who are captive, those who need food, those who need housing, those who need clothing. How have we reached out and cared for them? How have we welcomed those who have been lost in our family? How have we taken what we have learned and shared it with others? So as we go through this week, let's be thankful for the many gifts that Christ the King has given to us, but more importantly, how we have taken those gifts he has given to us and how we have shared them with one another. Let us stand together now and share our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus taught us to persevere in prayer and so we continue to pray for our needs and the needs of the world around us. For the church, that we may cooperate in the ministry of Jesus, who is healing, reconciling all the human family, particularly those who are alienated or marginalized, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and all leaders of the Christian community, that they may be both effective leaders and wise shepherds, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Christian unity, that Christ will shepherd us into one family where we can work together to bring both Christ's reign and defeat the powers of darkness in society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the homebound, and those receiving from surgery, 
that God will bring healing and renewal to them in both mind, body, and spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country, that we may live up to the ideals we celebrate on Thanksgiving Day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we pray this Mass, let us remember Pat Dunlap. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, especially Father Jeff Mickler and Brother Paschal Desmond of this community, that Christ the firstborn from the dead may welcome them into the fullness of life where sorrow and pain exist no more. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we have many people coming from all over the country for the funeral. May they have a safe journey to be with us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, increase our trust in you as we endure the pain and suffering of our human condition. Grant us the humility to look to you for wisdom in times of doubt and despair. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. During the preparation of the gifts, please join in singing hymn number 250, 250, Whatsoever You Do. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. When I was homeless, you opened your door. When I was naked, you gave me your coat. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do, to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was weary, you helped me find rest. When I was anxious, you calmed all my fears. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all this holy church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness, as eternal priest and king of all creation so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption. And making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, 
a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and grace, a kingdom of justice, love, and peace. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Pat Dunlap, Father Jeff Mickler, Brother Pascal Deusman, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us turn it off to each other a sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am I not worthy that you, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I could use another Eucharistic minister, please. Amen. During the distribution of Holy Eucharist, please join in singing hymn number 239, Now We Remain. Number 239. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. The blood of Christ. Once we were people afraid, lost in the night. Then by your cross we were saved. The blood of Christ. Dead became living, life from your giving. We hold the death of the Lord the blood of Christ. deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. The blood of Christ. Something which we have known, something we've touched. What we have seen with our eyes, this we have heard, life-giving word. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. The body of Christ. He chose to give of himself, the blood of Christ. Amen. became Amen. our bread, the body of Christ. broken that we might live, love beyond love, pain for our the pain. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. We are the presence of God. This is our call. Now to become bread and wine, food for the hungry, life for the weary. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with 
Jesus the Christ. Once we were people afraid, lost the in the Christ. night. The Christ. Then by your cross we were saved. Dead became living, life from your giving. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. Something which we have known Something we've touched, what we have seen with our eyes, this we have heard, life-giving word. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. He chose to give of himself, became our bread, broken that we might live. Love beyond love, pain for our pain. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. We are the presence of God. This is our call. Now to become bread and wine, food for the hungry, life for the weary, for to live with the Lord, we must die with the Lord. We hold the death of the Lord deep in our hearts. Living, now we remain with Jesus the Christ. Let us pray. Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, that glorying in obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. And our recessional hymn is number 317, City of God, number 317. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep. A new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light. The Lord of our longing has conquered the night. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night.